What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of Serial Series, but more importantly, welcome to the month of pumpkin. I have my pumpkin spice candle right here, and as you can see, with pumpkin spice, if you are a big fan of pumpkin spice, you know it is never not the right time of year to light a pumpkin spice candle. So this has been burning for a while. Let's get this fired up. I feel like more times than not, I'm wafting things to the camera on this channel. But in any case, so in true pumpkin spice fashion, I bought three cereals, count them three, that have something to do with the fall season. So they are Halloween Crunch, Pumpkin Spice Cheerios, Pumpkin Spice Special K. Okay. So lucky for you guys today, I will be trying out all three of these at the same time. And uh, to be honest with you, I did buy each of these cereals probably about a month ago sometime in early September, maybe late August because something here in the United States, I don't know why they do it, but they like to promote holidays way ahead of time. So let's give it a crack, shall we? So Tupperware container number one, we will be trying Halloween Crunch. I gotta be completely honest, I have never had Captain Crunch cereal before in my life. I was not a huge cereal person growing up, but apparently this makes the milk turn green, so I'm very excited for that. And as always on this channel, I bought milk sometime last week, I hope it is all right, from our very favorite ShopRite, and it is 1%, so this will probably do. Let's see if it makes the milk turn green. So as I've said, I've never had Captain Crunch before, um, but what really stood out to me was the box. This is absolutely, Delightful. I think whoever drew this, who was ever on like, I don't know, the Adobe Photoshop marketing team that they have over there, um, really did a very nice job. This is just a wonderful looking box. It looks super cool. Um, this is actually, I don't even know what flavor this is. Like they, they don't even tell you, so I have no idea if I'm gonna like it. But I'm trying to mix it up a little bit to see if it does turn the milk green. Kinda looks like it. That is extremely sugary, wow. But I can see why they call it Captain Crunch, because that crunch value, and as I'm going to do, which I do in all the other videos, is listen for the crunch, so let me zoom in on my face real quick, pause the audio. Definitely very crunchy, and it is turning the milk green, which I think is awesome. Uh, definitely for the kids out there, I think that'll be a lot of fun to drink green milk, um, if the intention for it is to be green. I've had two bites of this already, and it's definitely leaving a bit of a residue in my teeth. Almost like if you're biting down on a lollipop, you know like, when you have a lollipop and you're super patient at first, and you kind of just lick it and put it in your cheek a little bit, like whatever, and towards the end you figure, ah, oh, screw it, let me just like bite into it. And the, two, and the lollipop gets all over your teeth, you have to brush your teeth. That's what I feel like with this, whatever artificial junk they make this with, is just sticking in my teeth. Um, so I would never recommend giving this to a child. Um, this is pure sugar, but I'm eating it, and I think it's cool that it turns the milk green, so not all that bad. I'm not a big fruity cereal person, but I think it's nice. I think the big takeaway for this is I really like the packaging, not as much with the flavor. Um, if I had to give it a flavor out of 10, I'd probably give it like, a 7.2, I don't think it's nice all that well, but I do really like the packaging. So let's go on to our second, second Tupperware container, shall we? Next, we have Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. Um, this is the true uh, pumpkin spice right here. That was some fruity uh, flavor, um, but definitely Halloween-esque. One thing I should try on this channel is definitely something, something with apple cider. Smells pretty good. Now I do feel weird having this, eating this in front of the camera because Cheerios are like relatively healthy. Everything's relative. Cheerios are all that healthy. It's very sugary, but it's not really flashy. So I feel like I'm gonna have to make sort of a uh, an ice cream video or a pop tart video after this because this is gonna get kind of boring if I'm only eating like relatively 
healthy cereals. But I'm very excited for this. But I need you guys to comment down below or just let me know or text me if anyone watches this. What is your favorite cereal growing up as a kid and what is it now if you still eat cereal? Because as I said uh, several times before on this channel, we do not discriminate. We think it is more than okay and definitely recommended to eat cereal at any time of the day. I usually eat two bowls a day. That's interesting. So if you guys have ever had the regular Cheerios, that's what all Cheerios in a very underlying way taste like. It just tastes like a Cheerio. So I'm tasting that. My guess is that these are just regular plain Cheerios. And they threw on a bunch of like pumpkin spice and nutmeg. Yeah, so it doesn't say what flavors that they put in here other than pumpkin spice, but I'm definitely thinking it's nutmeg. It's pretty good, it's okay. I think the whole candle experience and the whole idea of like going pumpkin picking and carving up your own pumpkin, making a jack-o'-lantern and the whole hayride scene is actually better than the flavor of pumpkin spice for me. Um, I have been putting pumpkin spice, um, spice on my oatmeal every morning, so that's been nice, but you know what? This cereal is okay, it's not thrilling, but it's nice. I think on flavor, um, I'm gonna give it like a 7.3. It's definitely not as sugary. Um, it's definitely a lot more even and dull tasting than the Captain Crunch, but in general, I like it. So definitely give this one a try. And our third flavor is going to be the Pumpkin Spice from Special K. Now, fun fact, the cereal that I eat every single day is the Chocolatey Delight from Special K. I'm gonna have to do quite a Tupperware cleanup after this. So I'm interested to see how this fares out versus the uh, Cheerios, because this is both, they're both pumpkin spice, but I did get a very strong cinnamon nutmeg uh, taste out of the Cheerios. But, um, so this here, these are flakes. I love flakes as opposed to puffs or like a Cheerio um, for that mouthfeel with the cereal. That is really phenomenal. And what's funny is that this cereal, like the box is like the most bland box. Even the cereal itself, it doesn't really look all that appealing. It's just like regular flakes. This could pass for, um, what is it called? Raisin Bran or Nut Bran or any type of flaky brand cereal that could pass for that. But this has such a nice, smooth, easy flavor. It's not like punching you in the face sugary. It's, it's not punching you in the face pumpkin spice. It's not punching you in the face cinnamon. This has just got a nice, even flavor. I really hedge my bet on enjoying these cereals because I bought an entire box of cereal. And I know in general I could give these like to my roommates or my parents or whoever else would eat them. But I do feel bad in the sense that if I wouldn't eat the entire box of cereal, I'd be wasting it. And to be honest with you, I do not think I'm going to eat all the Captain Crunch. It is just overwhelmingly sugary. But this is absolutely phenomenal. So by far, this one is my favorite. I'm going to give the flavor an 8.4. This was very good. I do like the flakes, I'm biased to the flakes, but in general, this was not overpoweringly sweet. It pairs perfectly with this light pullover jacket, the nice fall weather outside with football on at about one o'clock today, and the pumpkin spice candle. So in general, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And if you have any recommendations as to which cereals I should try next, I would uh, love recommendations, so please uh, text me or leave a comment down below. And I hope this was an opportunity for you to turn your brain off because this was certainly an opportunity for me to turn my stomach on. And I hope you're all well and healthy and enjoying your month of pumpkin. And I will see you next time.